All right, so the first mod that we have on today's list is going to be the Subnautica map mod. So when you have this mod installed, all you need to do is open your uh, PDA. Uh, ignore the Minecraft fish right here. Let's just drop him back into his little environment. So you're gonna open your PDA. You're gonna go to the beacon manager section. And then on the top right hand corner, you're gonna see a little icon that you click. And when you click this icon, it'll switch over to the map and you can change between different types of maps. So we have the topographic map, the biome map, Show us different biomes. We got the Jelly Shroom Cave. That'll show the Jelly Shroom Caves, but I don't have it explored. Lost River, an active lava zone, and active lava zone. All right, so after exploring the map a little bit, I've picked up on something. So as we can see, the map sort of fills itself out as you go around. The other thing you need to note about this map is in order to actually fill it out, you can't just go near the surface. You need to be near the sea floor as you're going around the map for it to actually pick up because I explored like half the map, but half of it didn't even come together because I was near the top. But as we can see, not only does it give us a detailed reading of the environment, we can also see that wherever you point your mouse in the top left where it says map, it'll show you the coordinates of the specific spot that you're hovering over which can help make it easier whenever you're trying to navigate through certain areas even even in the unknown areas where you haven't filled out you can still see the coordinates for that part so that's pretty cool so now i've switched it to the biome the biome version of the map so now it's going to show me all the different biomes and they're each color coded and whenever you hover over a certain biome it'll show you which bomb you're looking at so we can see that the red is the grassy plateaus we got the mushroom forest right here the kush zone aka the bulb zone kelp forest as we see on the map the jelly shroom caves will show up as well whenever you have it explored and whatnot we can also see that the map automatically marks and picks up the different landmarks around the map so we can see there's an alien vent right here and it also even tells you the depth that the certain landmarks are at so we have a wreck over here is at 188 meters Wreck right here, 97, 36, and we have the life pod right there. You got heat areas, and I'm sure anything else major that you can think of, like any of the major landmarks around the map, heat zones, lava geysers, etc., all that stuff. But yeah, that is the Subnautica map mod. It's actually, I really, I really like this one, even though it's kind of smaller in nature, you know, as far as mods goes, we're used to looking at like the big old submarine mods. But yeah, that is the Subnautica map mod. And with that, we're going to move on to our next one. All right, so the next mod we have on this list is actually going to be a mod for our Cyclops, the vanilla Cyclops. All these freaking fish, I think they're killing my frames a little. The next mod on this list is going to be the Cyclops laser cannon mod. So it's actually a mod for your vanilla Cyclops. Ooh, vanilla Cyclops. I don't know what I was about to say. It's cannon using precursor technology combined with the Cyclops control system. So you need two prawn two torpedo arms, two ion cubes, two wiring kits, and two computer chips to make. All right, so as we can see, the Cyclops laser cannon module is installed and it's gonna be on our right side where all our other upgrades would be. Oh, go to look at that. There go the cannons right there. All right, so now that we have our Cyclops laser cannon installed, let's go test it out on a Leviathan, not the reef bag. We're not monsters, okay? We're not gonna test it out on the reef bag. We are going to test it out. We're gonna test this on the Reaper Leviathan because we know he has a lot of health and also he's terrorized me. It also doesn't seem to drain any energy. I'm holding like, I'm holding the mouse button down because I'm trying to hold and shoot it. It seems like the lasers only shoot, they only fire in like short bursts like that and then it'll automatically shut off because I'm holding my mouse down. There he is, look at him, look at him. Wait, 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 I can't see. He's it. Okay, he ate the first shot. Yo, Reaper, Reaper, I need you to get from below. Got him. All right, well, we got the Reaper. For some reason, his face is still moving. So as we can see, the Cyclops laser cannon is quite powerful. I mean, it really, I, th I believe it just two-shotted that Reaper. And we can see the little cannons down here. But yeah, that is the Cyclops laser cannon mod. It's pretty cool, pretty cool. It does a lot of damage though, like a lot, because I just two-shotted that Leviathan. And with this mod done, we can head on to our last mod on this list. So let's go on and get to that. All right, so moving on to the last mod on our list, we're going to be looking at the Sleek Bases mod. So now, so right about now, you should be looking at, you should be looking at a clip of my base before I've installed the Sleep Bases mod, because I want to, I want you to see the difference between the vanilla base and then the base after whenever you have the Sleep Bases mod installed. A Sleep Bases mod sort of gives your base a lot of, a lot more subtle changes, I would say. You know, it doesn't like change anything too, too drastic, but it does give a lot of subtle changes that help with the overall look of your base. So now that we've seen the vanilla base quite enough, hopefully. And now that we've seen what the vanilla base looks like, let's look at the sleek base mod. All right, so now we're here. So now we can see our base is entirely changed. Right off the bat is going to be these foundations. So we know that this big old area right here used to be like black, and now it is all white to match the color of the main area. And on the large room, we can see that the big old line or a section that was blue right here is now changed, and it is now completely white, just like the um, um, rest of the base because you know it's gonna match everything else and it looks a lot cleaner from a distance and whatnot 
another big old thing about this mod not saying that the base didn't have any lights before because the bases in vanilla subnautica they definitely had a bunch of lights on them but those lights were definitely not as prominent i would say they were a little bit dull so i'm going to turn it to nighttime so you can see the difference but these lights sort of jump out a lot more than the vanilla ones did because they're basically the exact same lights they're just like sort of amped up a little so you can actually see them better and some of these lights were white before i can't remember exactly which ones were white but some of these lights were white and then they got changed to this blue color you know the lights are a lot more prominent on the sides than they were in the vanilla game because they used to be a little damp slash dim and then now they are a little bit brighter easier to see and they sort of jump out at you a little bit more the moon pool especially went through a big old change yeah because as we can see the lights were all blue and not that dim white color you know so they're a lot more i don't know how many times i said they jump out at you a lot more so you can actually notice that there's lights in here because it's going to be like the one of the first things you see and i think it looks i think it's an upgrade to be honest big old improvement because it looks a lot cleaner now and then these hallways these lights right here i know these used to be white and now they are blue oh it's storming okay that's what's going on i'm like what is that sound uh, i'm not entirely sure i don't think the floor of the area has changed if it has then it's probably like a little so yeah i really like the sleek bases mod it gives your base a lot of subtle changes subtle and smaller changes that and feel free to go in the comments and let me know what your favorite mod on this list was mine is probably going to be the sleek bases mod but other than that that is about all i have for y'all i hope y'all enjoyed Thank you all for watching and I will see you all in the next piece.